Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I hope everyone is doing okay. Well, it's cold and rainy here. Okay, um, this video is things that can really help you live better or save money on the same amount of money. So you don't have any money, but you're going to do some stuff that is going to really help you. So say if you have $200 food money, EBT, and you go to the food pantry, I notice they give you about $40 worth of free food every week. That's going to give you $160. So you could you know, you could save some of your food money or your EBT money and you would have $360. Not saying be a, a moocher, but you know, if, if this could really, I, I see out here uh, people living in motels. So motels are bad when you're a low income person because they take up all your money. Okay, so, I uh, and you're going to eat better, of course. So, if you live in a car, this is really going to help you, okay? Uh, what I do, and I was going to bring this, and I forgot. When I find these little coolers, like lunch boxes, I grab them. Because you can use these just like a little uh, refrigerator. So if you find a place where you can get some ice for your drink, then you can get some extra ice for your cooler. Okay, uh, have you guys seen these um, these uh, salads at, uh, at Walmart? They're $2, so they're small. They're only four and a half ounces, so it's perfect for one person. I gotta take off these rings, they're gonna get in the way. Okay, so number one thing that's really going to help you is one, if, if you need to get EBT, which for one person will give you about $200, and then if you go to the uh, food pantries, that's going to give you $160, you know, 40 and 40 is 80 and 80 and 80 is 160. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to make a tasty salad uh, tonight. Uh, so, if you live in a car, you might go and, well, I don't have anywhere to put all that food. Well, when you go to a food bank if it's or a food pantry or a food church, if it's something you really can't uh, use, just don't take it. But, you know, you can, uh, you can your vegetables and fruit will last for a few days. Okay, uh, now, so go to the food bank. So I have some lettuce and I wanna make a tasty little salad. So um, this week, I, I got some nice stuff this week. I got this, um, this turkey breast meat. So I want to make a little uh, salad. So, okay, so um, go to the food pantry. So uh, try to get, look and see what's offered and try to get the best, um, the best item. So, okay, so I have turkey. I can make sandwiches. Uh, you know what's really good is a, uh, hot turkey sandwich. You just uh, heat your turkey and some gravy. I get the packets and then put it on some toast. Hopefully you got some bread at the food pantry and you have a package of gravy and you know, some mashed potatoes. Okay, so now number two thing, find one, I'm gonna make like a Cobb salad. Find one or two good deals each week. So um, I, found a good deal this week. I found two good deals and I'll show you what they were. Okay, so uh, here's what we have so far. So, okay, the good deals I found were, I found these ballpark hot dogs for uh, $2 marked down from $9. So that was an awesome deal. 
And this uh, turkey meat was, I got this free for $9. And then the other good deal, and this was a really good deal. What did I do with that? I don't know. Oh, here they are. These are expensive beans. These were like uh, $3, almost $4 a can. And I got these for 99 cent only. So I got, so now I got really good beans, uh, really reasonable. And so uh, there's a lot of things I can make out of these. But uh, if you start adding a few beans to your diet, then that is cheaper than meat. These are good. I already tasted them. Three and one half servings. Okay. So now find one or two good deals each week. Or, like every time you can, like I would have done more shopping. Okay, I got these cucumbers at the uh, food pantry. So, I will have some cucumbers. Eat more veggies and less meat. Not misery. Okay, I have some um, tomatoes. Not misery making. You're not going to stick to it if it's miserable. And then I have some olives. I'll just put those on. So uh, this didn't cost me much at all because, you know, I got the meat free. Then I stockpiled, I saw Gouda cheese for like $11.99, like 20 something dollar cheese. So um, I'll have a little cheese on my beans. That will be good. Okay, so you're finding one or two good, or uh, like a fairly big bag of oatmeal or a bag of potatoes or a big bag of rice. So I put the cheese on my beans because that will be tasty. Okay. So um, one of the reasons I want to make more, uh, more, I want to, now what else was I going to put on this? Okay, lettuce, turkey, cheese, or it could be cottage cheese, tomatoes, cucumbers, beans, and olives. Here's what we have so far. Okay, so um, one of the reasons I want to uh, eat more veggies is because they say if we can stay healthy for 10 more years, they're coming up with good, um, what kind of salad dressing is this? Uh, pizza ranch okay that sounds good so one of the things we're probably going to want to do if we possibly can is eat more veggies less junk you know so uh, the lettuce and salad was a uh, one dollar because they're about two dollars and i have some salad dressing all right so um and this is cheaper they give you breadcrumbs okay i will have those i like to show you guys i mean i can tell you guys all day long until i'm blue in the face but with and this is some cheese that would be good like a pizza And then I have some pepper. I gotta get my pepper under control. And uh, I have some salt. Uh, any kind of salt. Well, anyway, I don't know what I do with my salt. All right. So this looks pretty good. So uh, you notice I'm going a little bit light on the carbs because I eat uh, oatmeal, sometimes oatmeal and toast, but really high carbs doesn't really work for me. So here we have it. All right, that looks pretty good actually. Um, okay, uh, fine. 
fine one half price everything. So like a one half price of clothes at the thrift store. This is not cheap. Jack in the box iced tea. Find one half price food. So I shop for uh, Markdown food all the time. Um, at Grocery Outlet, at Smart and Final, you know, at uh, Ralph's. I look at the Markdowns. So, uh, cut utilities and gasoline. Okay, we know gasoline is going to spike. Um, okay, when we find some money-saving tip, don't ever do it the old way again. So, like, if, like, today I found these hot dogs for $2, and these are the good ones, why would I buy hot dogs any other way? I found these really good uh, beans. Why would I buy cheap beans when I get these $3.75, $0.80 beans for a dollar? So why wouldn't I go to the food pantry and save my money so I'm prepared? So when you find some money-saving thing that works, do it that way forever. Okay, uh, like, okay, I can get uh, free sandwiches every single day at McDonald's or like um, half price French fries or free French fries or uh, half price apple pies. Why wouldn't I get those every day? Well, because I'm, I messed up today when I was trying to do my uh, checkout. Okay, um, so why wouldn't I try to get fresh, uh, why wouldn't I get free stuff? Um, also, um, the breakfast sandwiches are really a good deal at, at McDonald's. They're like $2 each, but you have to buy two. And also at, um, at Jack in the Box, they have a, a breakfast sandwich, but if you buy a breakfast Jack, just one, it's $3. So they freeze up, okay? So I would be looking for markdown food the rest of my life. I wouldn't want to pay full price again. Okay, eat all your leftovers. Just get into the habit and just eat it. What I do is I just eat a little bowl of my leftovers until they're gone. I froze my um, refried beans. I got these really good deals uh, this week at the food pantry. I got the turkey and I got the refried beans. And so next time I, and so I uh, froze three portions. I had one portion, you guys saw that and they were really good. And I, I froze three portions, but next time I used to make these really good uh, burritos. They were uh, refried beans, taco meat, cheese, and then you could put lettuce and tomato on if you have it. So either eat it or freeze it. So I froze my turkey burger, so I, uh, I mean my turkey lunch meat, and I have some in the freezer. Okay, then yesterday what I did, and I showed you guys, speaking of saving money, I bought this milk for $3.50. I saw they had it still. And this was eight cups of milk. And so I made, this is one of the next tips. Um, don't buy stuff you know how to uh, make, like peanut butter. So they asked me if I wanted peanut butter, but I had stockpiled peanuts, so I said, no, thank you. They asked me if I wanted eggs, but I still had eggs, so I said, no, thank you. So what did I make? Okay. Last night, this was a little taxing, but I thought, no, at the beginning of every week, you're going to do this. That is your job. Your job. Okay, what about, who's going to fare better in the future? The person who's aggressive about saving money or the person who's just drifting along? Okay, the first thing I made was cottage cheese. Here it is. 
I like to eat this homemade after the gym. I bought these bowls at um, Dollar Tree. So I put uh, two cups of milk in a pan. I heated it to boiling. Then I had lemon and I squeezed a half a lemon in there and I let it I let it boil for a little while. Then I turned it down and I let it set and then I drained it through a screen. And I also saved my whey. Where's my whey? So a uh, whey is really good for making, I'm gonna use this tomorrow. I drink it too though. So this would be the same thing if you had soy milk. If you wanna be a vegetarian. So, okay, so I have my uh, cottage cheese and I have my whey for fried bread, which we'll get into that in a minute. Then I made some tasty homemade butter, but you can also use this just like sour cream. So I could have put that on my beans. That would have been good. Right? Let me give you the recipe in case you didn't get it. All right. Now my, um, all right. So I used my milk that I bought, two more cups. You can make twice as much, but it's very easy to make. So, you know. So a 4.25, four and a quarter cup um, milk heated, but I made half a batch. One teaspoon salt, I didn't add salt, but you can. Heat it, and then when it's hot, I use lemon this time, a half lemon in, instead of two tablespoons vinegar. It's boiling, stir it until it curdles, then turn the heat off and let it curdle for a little while, then strain it. Get the whey out, here's some whey. Then it calls for 400 grams melted butter. I just use my homemade butter, it works fine. So this would be my homemade butter. So um, it calls for like half a cube, but for a whole batch I only use, I mean a whole cube. For a whole batch I never use any more than a half a cube and for a half a batch I use just two generous tablespoons and then two spoons of sour cream. So you can use this sour cream but I also have in the freezer cream cheese. So last night I used my cream cheese. You put the, um, the whey the melted butter and the sour cream and the salt and blend it and then you have yourself some homemade butter so why eat margarine why why bother i mean for some things it's good but homemade is a lot better then this was the one that really wore me out but i thought that is fine you're retired don't be a baby you have to do it uh, and really, I kind of wanted to fall on my face, but I said, that is too bad. That is your job. Your job is to save money. So here is my, uh, I am getting pretty good. Okay, part, here it is. Part of the trick is to find a uh, yogurt that, um, that turns out good. So uh, this is Walmart Greek yogurt. This stuff's good. That's vanilla. Uh, what I want to do starting tomorrow, since I have yogurt, is I'm just going to put yogurt on top of my oatmeal. So one of the things that's going to save you money is substituting dairy and eggs for meat. All right, now let me give you my yogurt. Okay, one Greek yogurt, take that out of the refrigerator and let it start letting it from the beginning get room temperature. Then add three cups milk and heat it until it starts to boil. And keep that on the stove boiling, then bring a big pot of water, this big, 
cover this with some foil, heat it to boiling and put it in the oven in the back corner of your oven to heat that area and create a warm environment. Okay, continue cooking the milk for 30 to 45 minutes and covered so the, the, the water in the oven's covered, but you're, you don't have to cover the, you're just, you're just cooking it until it almost bubbles, but you're cooking it for a while. It's going to turn out better that way. Then turn off your heated milk after about 30 minutes. And now I use uh, Dollar Tree uh, shelf stable milk to make all of these all the time. I just happened to see this and I thought I'll try it. Um, I also use 1% milk last week from the uh, food pantry. Then uh, put your milk into a large bowl and let it cool to like a warm bath. And then add your room temperature yogurt, stir it up good, and then put it in your jar, cover it with some foil, and put that in the back corner of your um, oven, and then put your boiling water in front of that and cover it with a towel and leave it there till the next day. And then right before you get go to bed, reheat your water to boiling and put it back in there and cover it. And then you'll have some pretty much no fail uh, yogurt. I mean, here's the recipe. So all you have, all you need is milk. You can make more than three cups. Uh, yogurt, one, one cup of yogurt. Just heat your milk. To, to almost boiling and hold it there. I usually hold it there for about uh, 35 to 45 minutes while everything is boiling and heating. And then, so at the beginning of the week, this is harder if you live in a car or even a motel. So if you should have a hot plate though if you live in a motel, but um, find a grocery outlet where you can buy it really, really cheap. Okay, no, 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 no. So let's see, I uh, had uh, one half gallon milk, 350. I made cottage cheese, yogurt, cream cheese, and I have one cup of whey that I'll use to make um, fry bread. Okay, select the product with the most value at the lowest price. Like when I went to the food pantry, they said, okay, you can take one. So I looked at every product and do this in the store too and pick the best one. So I thought the best one was the turkey. And then on another uh, section, I thought the best deal was the high dollar value, which was a $9 uh, can of beans. And then, then today, I thought for $2, this was the best value. And I thought this was a really good value for $1 as opposed to almost $4. So select the product with the most value at the lowest possible price. Also, I got two loaves of bread. You know, we could pick one a loaf of bread. So I looked for uh, two, for healthy grains, but I saw these were two loaves, so I took that. Some people might be better for them to get sandwich bread. Okay, um, now I wanna talk about uh, last week at the food pantry, I got oatmeal, milk, 12 eggs, two packages of bagels, uh, a package of six packages of hummus, and 12 vegan sausages. So that was a really good deal. Okay, so now um, think about potatoes, rice, and sweet potatoes. So if you have those, you can, you're not gonna get hungry. If you have some small portions of meat, you can make a hash. If you have potatoes, you can make potatoes and gravy. You can make all kinds of things out of rice. So you wanna have rice, and they usually give you that at the food pantries. Uh, don't buy stuff you know how to make, like the peanut butter. Okay, uh, shop after the food bank. So if you're going to the food bank, 
uh, shop afterwards. Like this week, they gave me beans and I planned on, you know, just getting beans out of my food storage, but I didn't have beans that good. Um, okay, so now think about frozen sandwiches. So I, I stocked up on frozen sandwiches. Those are really like for an emergency, like you're like one of the emergencies I have is sometimes I am so hungry after the gym and if I don't have anything available, I will just start gobbling everything in sight. Uh, I bought uh, breakfast sandwiches. Uh, I actually uh, like uh, eating uh, these. And what I do is I heat them and then I just get pancake syrup and I have like two little pancakes. And I also have uh, I also have ham and cheese and hamburgers from Dollar Tree, but this week, I, for the rest of the month, I stocked up 15 larger burgers from um, from Walmart. So those will last me, I won't eat those every other day, but I know they're in there. Okay, so that was on the sandwiches. Okay, also I got uh, six of these beef sticks this week, and I already ate one. Okay, uh, now think about old fashioned food, like in our family, potatoes and gravy. So I purposely stockpile packages of um, turkey. So if I had this turkey um, lunch meat, I could make toast with turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes. Last night I had hot dogs, I had yams, and I, don't re I had coleslaw. Okay, think about like with these, my husband's Aunt Nancy lima beans, I could make these just like that. Just cut some little pieces of bacon or a sausage, uh, season them with salt, pepper, and sugar, cook them down, add a little evaporated milk and butter, and that's gonna give you some good beans. Or just eat a little bowl, like these are really good beans, just eat a little bowl like I did with the refried beans. Let's see if I have these available. I don't know. Here they are. Uh, these are really great containers if you get these. So I have uh, three of those. So that's like three meals I got. Well, four meals. And then uh, um, the turkey was four meals. So that was eight meals. Okay, uh, hot dogs with french fries, or I might make this tomorrow, fry bread. So I'll make the fry bread, I'll roast my hot dogs, I have some Dollar Tree sausages in there, then I will make the fry bread with my whey, and you need one cup flour, and one, one and one half teaspoons baking powder, and one half teaspoon salt. And you can add a quarter cup of powdered milk if you have it. And then remember the water or the whey, or you can use milk, is always the same amount of the flour. So you have one cup flour, one cup liquid, hot, and then you, you add all the dry ingredients, then you add the wet ingredients to make a soft dough, and then add a little uh, oil make it into a nice soft ball, cover it for 20 or 30 minutes, and then I will cut it in four pieces and I will roll squares and then I will roll my uh, hot dogs up in it. So that's a really, and I have a whole bunch of potatoes. I could make potato salad or french fries. Okay, grilled cheese. And so that's all I have for that. Okay, so those are the tips. Uh, and those are some bonafiably good tips. It's not just, so, okay, so if you're, okay, so say if, if you're like really poor and you're spending $200 a month on, I mean, people are getting poor. The cost of living is going up, like the cost of gas. If you um, have your $200, but you go get EBT, which is about $200, and you get your food pantry for $160, you're literally going to be eating a lot better than you have in a long time. So I just wanted to mention that. Everything is sticky. 
Okay, let's see. I think there's a couple other things I wanted to mention. Oh, it was about it was about soy. So what I'm keeping an eye out is if I can find uh, one of these half gallons of soy milk really cheap, I will buy that. But what is good is if you find uh, shelf stable soy milk, um, half price, and learn now how to make uh, tofu. So that you, it's just like, you know, the cottage cheese. And then now on the uh, juice, so this week I have uh, three citrus. So what I'm making now is I am not wasting any of my peels. I'm making um, a lemon and orange peels. So what I do, what I did is they really improved. I, um, you know, cut them in strips. I cover them with water and I cover them. I put sugar for a little batch, maybe a quarter cup, and I boil it until the water is boiled down and then put it on a rack at 250 degrees in the oven and just keep an eye on it. And then you're gonna have citrus peels and I have uh, three apples. So I wanna cook these down so I have applesauce for my applesauce bread. And then, and now as for juice, as this is why I'm trying to grow uh, grapes and you're always going to have grape juice. You can freeze it or you can just drink it as you go. Okay. If you're thrifty right now, the future will take care of itself. So just start, I mean, not like misery. There's nothing going on here that's too miserable. It was pretty miserable making all of this in one night. But you don't have to do it all in one night. But if you do do it on one night, it's going to help you the next week. So think about uh, saving money on transportation, health care, housing, and, grocery, and uh, groceries. Okay, and try to plant a, an indoor garden. Oh, no, I don't believe it. My, uh, my, the worst has happened. My uh, pepper fell. Look at these, you guys. Okay, so, uh, so now you get some cucumbers. Also, I have learned for one person, getting about two fruits or two vegetables or like three small ones is more than enough so you're not feeling like you have to eat it more than you want to. Um, think about carrots, squash, red onions, cauliflower, cucumbers, sweet corn, asparagus, and zucchini. And then also save your celery bottoms because I have a nice looking celery plant out there. And then now think about this. When there's no electricity, there's no water. There's no gas stations. You can't go to the store. There's no heat and there's no air. Also, we might get um, gasoline rationings or utility uh, utility rationing. Um, also, uh, you know, I happen to be shopping in the thrift store and I got a really nice uh, carpet for my dining room. So by shopping a little bit now, Christmas is going to be a whole lot easier and a whole lot cheaper. Okay, you guys, and start preparing a little bit for the 4th of July. I'll see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all. Bye. More cheap tips tomorrow.